Wow, you'll have five seconds for each of the illusions. Get ready for your mind to be bent. Can you tell which of the two yellow lines is longer? Seems obvious to me. Oh wow, I was wrong. None of them is longer. They are exactly the same length. This is a Ponzo illusion, not a Ponzi scheme. Your brain judges an object's size based on its background. Here, your brain decides the upper line that's further away has to be longer to catch up with the line that's closer. Here's another one for you. Do you think these lines are parallel to each other? Yep, they perfectly are. Again, your brain judges them based on their surroundings. All those short intersecting lines make you believe the longer lines are messed up. What about the red lines in this image? Are they straight or curved? This is the herring illusion. The seemingly curved lines are perfectly straight and parallel to each other. The background makes you think otherwise. How many colors can you see here? Did you get red, purple, and green? In that case, you're all wrong. If you zoom in on this illustration, you can see all the spheres are of the same color. The stripes in the foreground make you believe the spheres are of different colors, too. If you remove that foreground from the image, you'll see all the spheres are beige. Welcome to Ames Room. Nothing is impossible here. Which of these two people do you think is larger? An Ames Room only seems to be a normal rectangular construction. It has slanted walls and an inclining ceiling and floor. The right corner is closer to you than the left corner. Your brain is used to rectangular rooms, so it corrects the image for you. The room seems normal, and the people inside seem weird. How many prongs do you think this trident has? The correct number is 3. Nah, just kidding. That would be too obvious. The empty space between the prisms forms the central prong. Take a closer look at the top of the prongs. There are just two openings. Can you tell what animal is hiding here? The secret here is to shake your head back and forth. Or you can zoom out on the image. When you see the tiny version of it, it's obvious there's a cat hiding behind all those lines. Now, focus on one point of this image for at least 15 seconds. Don't think of anything else, just keep looking. Can you see the image disappearing? It happens because the neurons in your brain filter information. They decide what's essential and what's useless. When you focus on one point, your brain receives no new information. Your peripheral vision takes new data from the surrounding white background and adapts the graphic to it. Here's the next illusion for you. Can you tell if the circles are moving or standing still? This image isn't animated. It's an example of a peripheral drift illusion that makes you see still images as moving ones. When you stare at one part of the image without blinking, that part stops moving. Can you count all the black dots in this image? Three, four, six? There are 12 of them, but you can't see them all at once. That's because your peripheral vision fails you at tasks like this. What do you see in this image? If you're sure there are some lines and a light blue circle in the middle, you're wrong. The background is entirely white. You see the non-existent light blue circle because your brain adds color into the bare negative spaces. What about this one? What colors are these funky shapes? Just like in the previous illusion, they're all empty and white. That's a watercolor illusion. Your brain fills in the shape that has a bright line and a darker line at its borders with a brighter color. Now, can you tell if this image is 3D? It's perfectly flat. The white shade in the middle creates the bulge effect. 
If you move closer, you'll notice it spread its luminance. The task here is simple. Follow this spiral from the beginning to the end. Gotcha! You can't do it, because this spiral isn't a spiral. It's made up of concentric circles. Your brain fills in the gaps for you, because it's confused by this crazy background. Can you tell which rectangles are darker? Believe it or not, the rectangles under columns A and B are the exact same color. The surrounding black and white bars make you believe column A is way darker. Can you find the right shadow for this fun couple? No, it's this one. Only one of the locks is unlocked. Can you spot it in 5 seconds? Good job! This drawing is missing one piece. Pick the right one out of the three possible options. Well done! There's a little mouse hiding somewhere between the mushrooms. Your task is to find it. There it is, cute little thing. One of these jellyfish can't swim because it's an air balloon. Can you see it? Well, it does look a lot like a jellyfish. What's that chirping? All birds but one are having a chat. One of them doesn't speak their language. It's a snail right here. I'd love to have some coffee. Please help me find it. Yay, it was hiding here all the time. All penguins look alike, but one is more special than the others. Can you spot it? This little guy right here has slightly different eyes. Let's take it one level up. Can you find the odd one out here? You could be a detective with your sharp eyes. One of these plants is slightly different from the others. You have 5 seconds to find it. Here it is. All these moons must produce a lot of light. Pick the odd one out. I knew it. How about a little safari? The zebra on the right is different from its pal on the left in 5 ways. Can you name them all? I only found three differences. Oh, now I see. How about these lions? Again, there are five not-so-obvious differences between them. Did you get them all? What about these antelopes? Oh, I didn't see the red nose. What a beautiful and peaceful landscape. It's different from the one on the left in five ways. Name them all. Well done! Here are two scenes from a busy city life for you. The task remains the same. I only managed to find three differences here. Let's go see some waterfalls. Something is wrong with the second image. I got it! What about you? The fall is my favorite season. Can you notice five ways these pictures don't match? Fantastic! It's beach time, but you can't relax until you find five differences here. Well, enjoy your well-deserved rest. All right, enough. Moving on. What you see in the next images can tell a lot about your personality. Let's start with this one. If it's a woman reading a book to you, you're a practical and goal-oriented person. You work a lot. You're great at planning and know how to keep your emotions under control. 
Those who notice Salvador Dali's face, first of all, are artists at heart. Even if your job doesn't have to do with creativity, you find your own ways to express yourself through drawing, writing, or music. If you noticed an armchair first, you never look for easy and obvious solutions in your life. You always surprise everyone else with your unique vision of the world. How about this one? What do you see here? If they're women with umbrellas to you, you've plenty of friends because you're open-minded and mix with new people easily. You enjoy spending time surrounded by others and share everything with them. If it's a sad man's face to you, you're wise beyond your years. Sometimes you need to stop and think about life. At these moments, you prefer to be alone. You don't have that many friends, but you're loyal and always ready to help them. Alright, what can you say about this image? If it's a man sitting down by the water to you, you must be smart and careful with what you do and what you say. You always think twice before making an important decision and rarely regret anything you've done. If you see a face here, you're more emotional than rational. You'll always pick a new and unknown path and never think for too long when you have to make a decision. It's easy to make you cry or smile, but you get over things quickly as well. Here's another illusion for you. If it looks like a couple of playful squirrels to you, you must be a natural explorer. You don't feel happy staying in one place and are always the first to try new things and visit new places. You're active, charismatic, and fun to be around. If you clearly see a woman's face here, you prefer to stick to the plan and don't like surprises. You're a natural leader and great at delegating tasks to others. They respect you and follow your lead. What about this one? If it looks like a lifeless forested area to you, you're most likely better at sciences than at arts. You can fix any gadget or at least carefully follow the instructions to one of those. Your mind is a well-organized chamber. If you instantly saw animals here, you must be into arts and creativity. You don't even know manuals exist. You like to live in the moment and always listen to your heart.